Hey everyone, this video is about the HP 7T Business Calculator, which is part of HP's first generation of calculators that are collectively referred to as the Classic Series. And it was on the market very briefly in 1974 and 1975. The HP 7T was a companion to the more advanced HP 80, HP's first business calculator. Uh, and it supported time value of money calculations, but not advanced functions such as bond price and yield. But the most distinctive aspect of the HP 70 is its colour scheme. It has a green-grey enclosure with black, white and bold orange buttons. And orange was a colour that was typically used uh, for shift keys on HP's early calculators, uh, like on this HP 45. Uh, but like on the HP 30, uh, HP's first scientific calculator, the 70 was one of the few HP calculators without a shift key. And the HP 70 is very rare now, and is one of the most difficult of the classic series to find. So physically the HP 70 is the same size as the 35 and 45, and it shares these uh, curved silver lines that are designed to make the calculator look more streamlined. And the face of the calculator slopes towards the user. Uh, the colour of the body has a unique light green grey colour that differs from other classic models. Uh, the 70 has a 15 digit LED display uh, with 7 segments per digit that uses HP's own LEDs. And the display illuminates a single LED segment at a time uh, rather than a single LED digit. And apparently tests showed this was perceived as brighter by the human eye using the same amount of power. Uh, the keyboard is organized into four color coded sections. Uh, there's black, grey, orange and white. And like other classic series calculators, the keys are all double injection molded. Uh, on the back of the 70, uh, we can see uh, there's a power port, uh, the battery compartment, and a reference panel. And the calculator can use uh, three uh, AA sized nickel cadmium uh, NICD batteries assembled into a proprietary uh, battery pack. Uh, and it's possible to buy rebuilt battery packs online, uh, but I'm running the calculator just from its charger. And uh, you can run any of these calculators with or without batteries installed, uh, since they have a separate regulated power source for calculator logic. And that's not true for many old HP calculators, uh, in particular Spice and Woodstock series. Uh, plugging the device in without batteries uh, can fly, fry the circuitry. And it's not difficult to open the HP 70, uh, but I wouldn't recommend it unless totally necessary. Uh, there are six screws on uh, the back, uh, two in the battery compartment, uh, and two under the top of uh, the reference sticker, and two under the bottom feet. Uh, but you may um, damage, for example, the reference sticker, uh, like someone has uh, done with this uh, 35. Uh, to get to those screws. Uh, and under the hood, like the uh, 35, uh, the HP70 uses a Mostac MK6020 one-bit processor. And Mostac was an integrated circuit manufacturer founded by ex-employees of Texas Instruments. And the MK6020 processes 56-bit uh, floating-point numbers representing 14-digit uh, BCD uh, numbers. And uh, there's also an MK201, uh, sorry, 6021 control and timing chip. Uh, and there are also Mostec ROM chips. Traditionally, HP used to price its calculators at uh, the component cost times pi. Uh, and the price of the HP 70 was $275, uh, $120 less than the HP 80. So the HP 70 is of course an RPN calculator with a four level stack. Most of its keys will be familiar to anyone who's used an HP RPN business calculator before. Uh, on the top line, uh, we have the regular time value of money button. So there's the N number of periods, uh, there's I the interest per period. Uh, PMT is periodic payment amount, 
uh, PV is present value and FV is future value. And there's also a simple interest button. Uh, so say we had an initial investment of uh, $10,000 and an expected return of $25,000 over seven years. Uh, we can enter uh, 10,000 uh, into present value, uh, 25,000 into future value. Uh, we'd enter seven into N. Uh, and now we can hit I uh, to calculate the annual interest rate. And so below uh, the time value money cal uh, calculation buttons, uh, there's the usual percentage uh, functions and also uh, the Y to the X power, uh, which can be used to calculate powers and roots. Uh, so for example, to calculate 2 to the power of 8, uh, we would enter 2 on the stack and then 8 and hit the power button. Uh, if we wanted to uh, calculate the square root of, say, 2,000, uh, we'd enter 2,000 onto the stack, and then 0.5, uh, and then the power button. Uh, and next we have the clear button, which clears all memory. Uh, below that, there, uh, there's a button to switch the X and Y uh, registers, and also roll down the stack. Uh, and next we have... Uh, memory keys uh, and so you can use the store key uh, to store a value into either the K or M registers and the HP 70 had two memory registers uh, which was one area that it was superior to the HP 80 uh, so say we can store uh, 1000 into the M uh, by hitting 1000 uh, store and M uh, and then Sorry, 1000 store in M. Uh, and if we clear memory, we can hit the M button to recall. Uh, and there's also a K register, which is quite unique, uh, because on startup, it is pre-populated uh, with the number 12. Uh, and this is obviously a useful constant for financial calculations. Uh, the display key can be used to set the number of decimal places displayed. Uh, so you press uh, display and then hit a digit. Uh, or you can hit display uh, followed by dot uh, to display scientific notation. But it's worth noting the 70 doesn't have an exponent key. Uh, so there's actually no way to enter numbers directly in scientific notation. And like with other calculators in HP's classic family, uh, the operation keys are on the left of the keypad and the order is minus, plus, multiplication, and divide. So the HP 70 is a great example of an early business calculator, and in 1974 it would have replaced a lot of complex manual lookup tables for financial professionals. It's quite interesting to read the original user manual. Uh, in the introduction it says, uh, we at HP believe machines should, should solve problems, not create them. Uh, that people should not become the tool of their tools. This philosophy is exemplified in your HP 70 business pocket calculator, the rehumanizing machine. And for calculator collectors, the HP 70 is a nice piece, both for its rarity and its unique and striking color scheme. And again, it's a testament to HP engineering that this one is still in perfect working order 47 years after it was made. And so I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. And if you have, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get alerted of new videos.